blue Adidas pullover. You know, yeah. Somebody help me, I think I'm filming this too late at night. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. Um, as you can tell, I am doing something a little bit different than usual. I mean, the title says it all. It's a thrift lookbook. Um, I haven't done a thrift lookbook before or a lookbook, a lookbook for that matter. I've been telling you guys that I've been like thrifting and like stuff the past few months and I just never showed you guys what I got. So I thought I would finally do it like now. <laughs> so this video is going to be like a little uh, compilation of all the clothes that I thrifted or bought secondhand. So like the stuff I thrifted in Japan, stuff I thrifted in New York, and some secondhand stuff that I bought in Singapore during Circuit Breaker because I really wanted to try new styles and I wanted to shop but I can't go out and I didn't really want to shop firsthand. So I just went on carousel and I scrolled and 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 scrolled until I found something that fit me, I mean that fit the style that I was going for was relatively affordable actually all the stuff that I got were really affordable and was not pre-order but only stuff that people were trying to throw out of their closet or just never wore and just wanted just didn't want to keep it anymore yeah so um yeah with that let's just jump right into the video so the first outfit that i got for you guys today is using something that you can find in every thrift store a massive ass t-shirt or graphic tee it's not really graphic but look at me i look like i have massive shoulder pads um, but yeah, this is a super oversized tee that I got in New York and I paired it with blue mom jeans as well as like gold earrings from Modell and a fanny pack from Puma plus sneakers from Adidas My white sneakers which are no longer white Anyways, the graphic tee is like my go-to outfit It's comfortable, it's massive, no, it's just really comfy whether it's for going out or for staying at home. You can wear it untucked, which is what I would do if I'm just lazy and I just, just want to get out of the house and not worry about anything. But the fanny pack kind of does add a little bit of shape for you because it cinches you in at the waist on one side. If you don't really want to be drowning out your silhouette, you can tie it in at the front, like in a knot, or you can use a hair tie to bun it up or you can tuck into your pants like everybody does it's so comfortable and it gives you more of a waistline or you could also tuck it into your bra like a lot of us have been doing recently i also tied up my hair to give my face a little bit more shape since my clothes are generally baggy and the hoop earrings just add a very nice little touch of gold just your average casual day outfit kind of vibe moving on also from new york i got this Ralph Lauren striped polo tee that's also massive and oversized. The material for this one is actually really thin so it's perfect for Singapore weather which is hot and humid and I just get all sweaty all the time. It's like grey with blue stripes and a blue logo. It's a really thin material, very airy, very nice, comfortable to wear. As usual oversized because I love drowning on my silhouette. So I paired these with these blue jeans that I also thrifted in Japan. Um, they're like high-waisted. It's a very nice like darkish, like deep blue kind of shade. The material is like thick and solid and like it's super high-waisted and there's also this elastic on the back which I absolutely love because if I'm having a food baby, honey, this guy gonna save me right there. <laughs> yeah. um, this has become one of my favorite pair of jeans. Uh, because it's high-waisted and so comfortable but it still kind of gives you sort of a shape because it's quite straight cut anyways I tucked them into this pair of jeans threw on a white tote bag that I also got in Japan and paired it with some blue Converse shoes I let my hair down for a little bit more of a relaxed style kind of vibe and yeah same gold hoop earrings just to give that beautiful gold tinge if you're looking for something a little bit more girly fancy you can swap it for a skater skirt. Um, this skirt has been with me for like absolutely like a million and one years. 
I don't know how old it is, but well, it works. I, I, I actually didn't intend to put any skirts in this video, but this came in by chance, so, and it kind of would look cute if you, if you want to channel some, you know, um, old, like, school anime kind of vibes, you know, <laughs> throw on some, uh, like, knee-high socks and some heel laced up boots, you know, and a little tiny backpack and you're good to go. So, still with my polo tees, I got another one from New York. This is the Harley Davidson polo. It's the biggest polo that I got. I paired this with a Ralph Lauren cap that's also dark blue that also has like stitching detail on it and some like distressed ends over here as well as my pair of white jeans and then threw on my Nom and Bow sling bag just to add like a touch of like neutral natural natural neutral colors and then i tie my hair up into a ponytail and oh looky look look i look like i'm gonna ride a horse uh, i don't know why this kind of giving me like those like equestrian vibes but anyways to look less like you're gonna ride a horse you can swap out that bag for a tote bag and let down your hair and there you go you look a little bit less horsey and a little bit more I'm just gonna hang out, I don't know. But yeah, you look more casual, I think. So bringing in the long sleeve tees, which I absolutely love, but they are totally not suitable for Singapore weather. Here we have this beautiful koi long sleeve t-shirt that I got in Japan. I thrifted this in Japan for a couple bucks. I got this because I really love the koi detailing. Like, look at these babies. And at the back, there's also this detailing Chinese, Japanese words. Um, so honestly, this this like long sleeve T-shirt is something I would totally wear at home with shorts, just like oversized because it is so so comfortable. But if I'm gonna be going out, then I'm gonna tuck it into my bra to give it a little bit more shape, and then paired it with my white jeans and my Ralph Lauren cap and white tote bag from Japan as well as my blue Converse shoes, just so that the blue of the shoes and the top match. So with the long sleeves, I had to get myself this simple, basic white long sleeve top. It just has a little higher collar than usual, and it was a little bit oversized, and I guess that's why I got it, just because it's a white basic oversized tee. I styled this by tucking it into my bra, and then paired it with white jeans, I think you guys would have seen some photos of me in this outfit on my Instagram because I did a look and then decided that wearing all white would match it. But yeah, I tied up my hair for a little bit more structure on my face, like shape on my face and also like a little bit more ed edgy, I don't know. And then my gold earrings. So yep, yeah, here's a pose that I did for the photo that I posted on Instagram. <laughs> Here we have a Ralph Lauren striped colorful like polo tee that I thrifted in Japan. The material is quite thick so it's quite structured. There's a little little bit of like shoulder padding over here. I don't really have a lot of colors in my wardrobe so yes this haul is gonna be showing you the most colorful things that I have in my wardrobe. I paired this with blue mom jeans and also threw on a cute little bucket hat that I thrifted in Japan. It's a fast food bucket hat. Let, let you guys look at the detailing. It's like hamburgers and hot dogs and, and soft drinks and french fries all around this hat. <laughs> I got this in Japan as well. I got this because, okay one, I didn't have a bucket hat and I thought why not spice things up a little bit with a colorful fun bucket hat, you know, that you could just like put on anytime and, and, uh, and live life. No, but I threw it on with like this top because the red and the white kind of match the, the, the red, white, blue straps, stripes stripes on the, on the top. And yeah, I thought it kind of looked cute and a little bit more fun rather than just your typical polo tee tucked into jeans and white sneakers kind of look. Of course, I could not not thrift a knitted top from Uniqlo. Um, I got this in Japan, not from the Uniqlo shop, but I really thrifted it. It was a lot cheaper. I think it was like just a couple bucks or something. And it's majorly oversized. It's this cream colored thing and I kind of injured it. It has a little bit of a 
hole over here, but I like to think of it as like distressed, like. The, like decoration, design, vibes, what you get what I mean. It's a massive cream knitted pullover and it's super warm, totally not suitable for Singapore weather. So I paired this with the blue pair of jeans that I thrifted in Japan and just tucked it in so it gives me a little bit more of a silhouette because it's so freaking massive. And then threw on my Nalman bow bag just to give a little bit more like detailing. But of course, if you want to go monochrome, that's also an option. Over here, we have this beautiful... No, I'm kidding. Uh, we, I basically just paired it with white jeans and my Ralph Lauren cap and my white tote bag. And yeah, that was about it. I mean, I was perfectly fine just wearing it untucked like a big white blob it was really comfortable but if you want to have a little bit more shape then like you can tuck it into your jeans you can tuck it into your bra you can tuck it in like halfway okay who doesn't get some sort of windbreaker or sports outerwear when they go thrifting like literally everybody i know you, they can't thrift without thrifting a sports outerwear so over here we have a blue and white adidas um, windbreaker this is really oversized as well and really comfy i feel like as this video progresses i'm just gonna be adding things onto me <laughs> that may not even match my outfit Okay, anyways, uh, I got this in Japan as well. It's super comfy. I absolutely adore it. I paired it with a white tee, like tied up in front to give me a little crop top, and then my mom jeans and sneakers, and also tied up my hair, maybe just because to look a little bit more sporty. I don't know, but yes. So if you don't really want to do like this oversized thing because you got an oversized windbreaker, oversized white tee that's bunned up in the crop, and then mom jeans, you know, um, you could always swap that tee out for a cropped top or a sports bra if that's what you prefer. I used a grey crop top that just basically gives me a bit more figure and then yeah, it just makes a cute little casual outfit that you can wear with a windbreaker on, windbreaker off your shoulder, hanging off your elbows, I don't know. You do you, gal. Going on to like basics, we have here a white, like slightly sheer um, tight fitting t shirt from Monkey. I got this in Japan when my colleagues were doing like this, like clothing swap thing. Yeah, it was a cute little basic that I don't have in my closet actually, so I just thought I'll pick it up there. So I paired this with some mom jeans and tucked it into the jeans and put on this black belt with a gold rim, which would match my gold earrings, and then threw on this cute, um, like headband, blue headband thingy that I found in my house somewhere, literally. I don't know where it's from, who it's from, but it's cute. So I took it and it kind of gave my outfit a little bit more of character. It looked a little bit more girly, if that's not your thing, then just throw off the headband. But I thought it was kind of cute and I was trying something new, so yeah. If you are into white basics but want to show a little bit more skin, here's an off-shoulder top from Topshop. Also thrifted when my colleagues in Japan were doing a clothing swap. So I paired this with the same mom jeans and actually kind of tucked it in a little bit under my bra. It was a really awkward length where I can't really tuck it underneath so I thought I'd just make it a little bit neater. Swapped out my blue headband for this colorful as heck headband that I rolled it up and then tied it into a little headband thing. Threw on a cute little pink bag and pulled on some red socks which I have never worn. Like I said, I'm not really colorful so like this is the colorfulest thing that you'll see me wear. My warm wardrobe is so boring so I'll try to spice it up a little bit by adding some color. Another look that I decided to put in was to tie up my hair into a ponytail leaving some strips of hair at the front and swapped out that colorful lush headband for a red cat printed headband. Yes it's actually for a tie bento but it was really cute, it was red, it matched the red socks and was less like bright and like booms right in your face so I thought I'd use this instead. Hoping to channel some Korean vibes, I got this, I don't know what you call this actually, it's like bell sleeve kind of heart shaped neckline on carousel for a couple bucks. It has this very cute like floral print 
um, and it's a crop top and I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe. Like I said, I was trying to get into new styles so I thought I'd give it a shot. Somebody felt like it didn't really match them anymore and decided to throw it out. Thank you for that, I love this piece. I paired it with my thrifted jeans from Japan um, because they're high-waisted and they cinched me in at the waist and then gave me a straight cut down which I thought looked really nice with the tight body of the top and then the loose um, sleeves. And then I paired this with white heels that I got from Eldo. I pulled on the pink shoulder bag thing that was in my previous outfit as well. So you can either wear this top with the shoulders up or down. Up to you how much skin you want to show, what kind of feel you want to give. It's up to you. Continuing the Korean vibes and the floral print, here we have this yellow cardigan with like these really nice patterns on them. It's a very nice like mild yellow color. I styled it in a way where it's like kind of buttoned up but not really. I unbuttoned the top and bottom button just to give it a little bit more style, like to add more details onto the outfit rather than just a cardigan. And paired it with the same blue jeans I got from Japan. You can either wear this just like that or unbutton it and wear it as an actual cardigan. I think this is also a really cute look. But yeah, these two tops really gave me a very Korean-y feminine vibe, which is something that I do not have in my closet. We're giving it a shot! Onto the next cardigan that I got from Japan. Here we have this really, really oversized brown bell sleeved cropped cardigan. It's like knitted. I got this for like two bucks, I think. It was 200 yen. I really liked it because of how loose it was, and also the bell sleeves really got me like. It really just reminded me of, you know, Anastasia in the, in the cartoon. She has this like oversized jumper jacket. Thing. I, I just, I don't know, that was my childhood. I thought it was cute. And it really, really reminded me of that and it was a little bit more feminine in style. So I paired these with a black tube top and my blue thrifted jeans. I like to only button like the middle button just to give it a bit more of a like oversized feel. You can also pair this with like a lacy bralette or something that you can show the detail. I think that'll be cute. Yeah, I basically just let it fall over one shoulder and have it on, on the other shoulder. I just like, you know, Holding things on my shoulders. Wait, I'm gonna take this off. It's so warm. Another piece that I got from Japan was this like gray oversized shirt. And I really I just really love the color and the print. It just gave me very nice, cozy vibes. I paired this with my white jeans. I have so many ways that I like to style this top. I like to style it unbuttoned um just like as an outerwear because it's like kind of oversized i like to tuck one side in and then i like to um like button like the top too and then tie the bottom into a crop top i think that looks really really cute we took a short commercial break from flowery floral tops but now they're back so here we have this um, top from Zara that I thrifted in New York. It was like eight bucks or something like that. Look at the floral detailing. Very nice pastel-y kind of cool tone and I really liked it. This totally, totally not my style, but I fell in love with the pattern. I paired this with my thrifted jeans from Japan. Because of the waistline, I wanted to tuck all the fabric in and give myself a little bit more shape. But if you are, as we all are, in the sunny, humid, hot weather of Singapore, you might not want to wear this because the jeans are too warm and you're wearing long sleeves unless you're in a freezing lecture theater. So if you are going out for a picnic, because this gives me picnic vibes, I swap the jeans out for shorts. You can leave it untucked, I think it's kind of cute. Otherwise, you can gather all the fabric into the front and then roll it up into a little bun to crop that top so you have more shape and you're showing more skin if that is what you like. But also because Singapore is really hot, I totally get it. Moving on to a crowd favorite, because for some reason people love color blocks. We have this colorful primary colored shirt. I absolutely, lutely, 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 lutely love the pattern and the design on this shirt. It basically has two horses. I was really drawn to this top because of how colorful it was and how oversized it was. And I was going for that colorful vibe a little bit more. 
I got this on carousel. I'm not gonna lie though, I don't particularly love the material. It's like a little bit plasticky. I actually don't know what material this is. It's thin, which isn't a bad thing, but because it's kind of like plasticky, it traps heat. But I'm not gonna argue with this top because it is beautiful, honey. So I paired this with my thrifted jeans from Japan and a black tube top. There's so many ways you can wear this top. You can wear it unbuttoned, you can wear it tucked, Thin halfway, you can wear it buttoned at the top and then left out for the rest, like just V shape. You can also button it up a little bit and then tie it at the front, which I really love. I'm, I've been loving this like tying knots at the front of your shirt kind of vibes. Yeah, it's up to you. I love it in all those different styles. I think this top just rocks. Somebody didn't want it, so I had to take it. Next up, we have this sheer pattern blouse that I thrifted in New York for like six bucks or eight bucks as well. It was really cheap. I'm holding it the wrong way around. <laughs> A quick little story time. This top and the Zara top were from the same thrift shop that I randomly walked past in New York and they even had student discount and the guy was like, are you a student? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, can I see your student card? And I, I, I whipped out my neon poly student card. He looked at it and he was like, okay. And he gave me a discount. So that was great. Thank you, sir. I love it. I love the pattern, like the details. It's very like rustic. Is that the word? I don't know. And then the gold buttons as well. The button detailing here. And the fact that the sleeves like cinch in a little bit at the ends. Wow, I just love this top. Like, it really gets me. So I paired this with my olive green wide-legged pants from Glaçons and my Nom & Bow sling bag because like the neutral colors all just like blended in really nicely together. I love it. Yeah, I just really love this outfit. I was looking to spice things up a little bit, so I threw on this black mini dress over this sheer pen and top. This turned out a lot cuter than I expected it to. I personally think this is really cute because of the sleeves. Like the sleeves that balloon out and then singe you at mid-arm. It just, I don't know, I just love the silhouette of it. Anyways, I paired these with black heel boots, which I got from Japan. Just gives you a bit more like a, a of a like gangster, like hipster sister, hipster sister. <laughs> vibes. <laughs> and then tied up my hair for a little bit more, a little bit playful, a little bit more structure to my face. And my knob and bow sling bag. So a color that I've always loved and wanted pieces of is khaki. And I found this beautiful khaki um, shirt in Japan and thrifted it there. It has these silver buttons and like white stitching detail on it. And the material is relatively thick, so it's quite structured. Um, I paired these with my blue jeans that I thrifted in Japan and a black tube top. So I personally love wearing the wearing this as an outerwear because it's so structured, it looks better that way in my opinion. You can just leave it out, you can tuck one side in. I also like experimented a little bit and decided to button like the like the middle button and then pull it back so that it's kind of like hanging on my shoulders, kind of like an off-shoulder top. And just played around with that a little bit and I thought that was kind of cute and interesting new way to style this top. So we're on to the last outfit and this is your typical oversized, boxy, cropped denim jacket. This is real oversized. I thrifted this in Japan. Um, I absolutely love how boxy it is and how structured it is so that it maintains its boxiness like no matter how you move or what you wear. Um, I paired this with a red brick orange tube top and my blue jeans and I tied up my hair to give my face a little bit more structure and then threw on a fanny pack from Puma. I freaking 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 love this jacket and this outfit. I just love how it sits on me. Yeah, so this is totally a look I would wear out any day. And that is all the looks and pieces that I have for you guys today. All the stuff that I showed you guys in this setup were thrifted or bought secondhand. Some of the bottoms or like tube tops were not thrifted or secondhand bought. They were bought like ages ago and I only had that one pair of blue jeans that I thrifted. So I had to take in some other ones as well just to give you guys like an idea of how I pair my thrifted stuff with everything else. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this first ever lookbook from me. Let me know if you guys liked it, if you guys like the pieces, the way I style. Yeah, if you guys think I am qualified to give more lookbook ideas. 
let me know in the comment section down below. Um, as usual, I don't know how to end this, so I'm gonna be the typical YouTuber who goes comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!